guys, it's time for a little bit of a beauty haul. I'm super excited about this. It was so funny. Now, not all these were bought in one trip, first of all, but I went into Sephora to pick up one thing and came out with four things. And then I went into the Lush store to get the Rose Argan something. I, I'll pull it out in just a minute because I do have it. And uh, Lush did not have it. They were sold out. And they said, can you come back in a couple days? And so I did. They still didn't have it. So it was about a week later before I was able to get the Rose Argan. Um, and I'm not even sure it's an oil or what. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. I, um, so it's kind of funny. I went to get basically two things. One from Sephora, one from Lush. And came out with more than two things. But it's not massive, but some of these, I'll, I'll admit it, they weren't that cheap. But I just got sucked in by, I saw some of these on YouTube is mainly why I picked some of these up, the majority of them. <laughs> and I would say all but two of these products, it's because of YouTube that I bought them. I'm blaming it on YouTube. I cannot be held accountable. No, I can't. But anyway, <laughs> um, let's get started and I'll show you what I got from Sephora. Now, I've already used some of these products because I couldn't wait for the filming of this video. I had to go ahead and use them. And they're sitting behind me, the Sephora stuff. Now, let me grab these. And I'm missing one of the Sephora products right now. And I'm sorry, I was completely talking this direction and not to the camera. <laughs> I apologize for doing that. This is what I went into Sephora to get. Now, I think I may have said either in a video or on a comment that I wasn't going to buy any more body wash until I used up what I had. This came home with me. It did. Like I said, I can't be held accountable. I saw it on YouTube and had to get it, but it is the Soap and Glory. I love Soap and Glory. It's the Sugar Crush body wash it's fresh and foamy it's got with lime oil cool capsule x and it's been trademarked so whatever cool capsule is it's been trademarked kiwi water juice and a skin softening omega rich veggie oil and this is in 16.2 fluid ounces if you're in the u.s anywhere else in the world it's 500 milliliters it'd be nice if we were all on the same page wouldn't it even though I gotta admit, 16.2 ounces makes more sense to me than the, um, the metric system. <laughs> but that's just me being an American. Um, I have this particular scent in the body scrub and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I've heard a lot about the body wash in this and I've been meaning to pick it up and just never committed to it. So I went ahead and got it. This is what I went into for to get and then I ended up coming out with three more things from Sephora other than this. Now, I watched, oh, what's her name? Um, I think her name is Este, but her channel is Essie Button, I believe. And she did a whole Soap and Glory, I forgot what she called it. I don't watch a whole lot of her videos, but the ones I do watch, I like, so I probably should watch more. And she did a whole Soap and Glory thing, and there's an orange one of these, and it kind of has a little bit of a risque name. You cannot purchase it at a store inside the US at least that I can find you can buy it off of Amazon and I have ordered the orange one and the the body wash and a body butter and I don't know how long that's gonna take to get here it's being shipped from somewhere else <laughs> not I'm I'm hesitant to buy stuff off of Amazon especially when it's being shipped from businesses that I've never heard of but supposedly it's legit there were good reviews so I think it's gonna be okay but I've already used this. I absolutely love this body wash and definitely recommend it. I've been using it ever since I bought it and I love, love, love it. So rec definitely recommend it. Then I was watching Tati, Glam Life Guru, and she had done a video on Glam Glow products. I think she had every Glam Glow product that is made and she was kind of giving her opinion of them, which ones she liked, which ones she wasn't as big of a fan. And this is the newest Glam Glow product, and I thought the funniest thing that she said, she opened it up and smelled it, and she said, it smells like a pet store. So I thought, ugh, it has been a long time since I've been in a pet store, but from what I remember, none of them have a pleasing aroma in the store, if you know what I mean. 
Um, I don't think she meant it in that way. I think it was more of um, the, uh, what is that stuff that you put in like guinea pig cages and stuff like that, what, uh, whatever that stuff. I think that's what she kind of meant. But I smelled it and I, it's got a very intriguing and interesting smell. It is the heart. I, I'm bad at describing scents. You guys know that. But it's got a little bit of a fruity scent and then something else completely mixed in with this. But it doesn't stink in my opinion. And I would not liken it, liken it to a pet store smell. But some other people may think that. But again, it has been a long time since I've been in a pet store. Okay? So I'm not an expert on that at all. So if anybody's got a pet, go smell this in Sephora. If you don't want to purchase it, go smell it and let me and tell me if you think this smells like a pet store. This is the Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. Uh, to do something I can't pronounce. This is a mud to oil, and I have the box somewhere in this room. What did I do with the box? Oh, found it. <laughs> This is what the box looks like. So it's awesome packaging, but it is expensive. I will admit it. It's expensive. But with with uh, Glam Glow, I'm kind of like either completely in love with it or don't necessarily... I could care for it or I could live without it for sure. I love the original Glam Glow. Love, love, love it. And I realize I'm saying that a lot in this video, but I do really like the original. It's the one that comes in the black packaging. It's... Um, it kind of looks like it has seaweed or something in there. It's thick. Some people don't like it. I understand. Some people prefer the other one that comes in the white packaging. I've only tried that in a small sample size. I wasn't impressed, but I do have some other samples. I need to continue to give that a try. But I, let's just say I was immediately impressed with the original one on, after the first use. Thought this the one that comes in the white packaging was so-so. And then I've got the Thirsty Mud, the one that smells like coconuts. It smells amazing, just like coconuts. Don't think it's that great, though, for a moisturizer. But I've used this one time, and I have to say I really like it. I really do like it. So I think they knocked it out of the ballpark on this one. It just says it's a Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment Mud to Oil. And I have to say, if you're interested in Glam Glow, my recommendation is go for the original one and go for this one. But if you, you know, but what I would say before you commit to making any of these purchases, go to Sephora and ask for a sample. I've never had them turn me down for a sample whatsoever. They're usually happy to do it. So definitely ask for a sample. And over the course of several months, I have gotten so many free samples of Glam Glow. And they were good size samples too, um, from different places. From Beauty Choice was one of them. I purchased something on Beauty Choice and got two free samples of the original one and the um, the second one that's in the white one. So, and they were good size samples. I need to use that. Then I saw this. This is the Tarte Brazilians. I think it is a self tanner. It's a skin rejuvenating maracuja face and body self tanner. This has showed up in more than one YouTuber's video, I know it has, but what pushed me over the edge, Fleur, Fleur, excuse me, Fleur from Fleur de Force showed this in her self-tanning routine for this year, and she really liked it, and it pushed me, it pushed it over the top for me, I went and got it. Uh, this is the smaller size, so, because if you're not sure about something, one hand, it's always cheaper to buy the larger size in the long run when you break it down by ounces and you divide the, um, the amount of ounces into the price. It's always cheaper to buy the bigger one. However, if you don't want to commit to something and you're not sure about it, I say go for the more smaller one, which is cheaper on the bank account at that moment in time. But price per ounce is always more on the smaller ones. Keep that in mind, usually. So... I used this once and I have to say, I just used it on my face. I absolutely love this self tanner. And I hate to say this, but I have the San Tropez self tanner for the face. I like, I think I like it more than the San Tropez one, and I'm a San Tropez fan. Um, definitely recommend this if you want to self tan. It's the Tarte Brazilians, again, skin rejuvenating maracuja face and body self tanner. 
And I'm always a little hesitant to put any of the self tanners on my face unless they specifically say for face. And if you've ever done that, you'll know why. Then, oh, I had to stretch and get that. <laughs> I picked this up, and this is a uh, another Glam Life Guru recommendation. Now, I don't know if she specifically purchased this one, but what this is, it's a bronze buffer. It's a self-tan remover. And if you end up getting um, too much on your elbow, knee, or ankle, and it just, if you got a dry spot, self-tanners tend to cling to those dry spots. This is supposed to remove that if you get a bad spot or if you've messed up. This is what it's supposed to do is remove it. Now, I haven't not used this yet and it's still sealed, but it's just a little, it's get, you get two sponges is what it says. I'm assuming they look like this star right here. And it just says wet sponge and wring out excess water. Gently wipe away self tanner streaks and color buildup. Do not scrub, then allow the sponge to dry. So, Tati said, Tati said it works, so... That's why I bought it because I have ha I have messed up really badly on my knees and ankles before with the self tanner. So that is all of my Sephora purchases. Now I did go into Lush and I went for the let me pull it out so I'm actually calling it the correct name instead of just trying to randomly guess the correct name. The Rose Argon Body Conditioner. Now, the first time I heard this, I thought people were actually saying Rose, like R-O-S-E, the flower, but it's not. It's R-O apostrophe S, Argon Body Conditioner. No, this was a Fleur de Force. I, she's one, I, I watched so many different YouTubers and I was like, she's my favorite, she's my favorite. It's like, every time I mention somebody, I'm like, they're my favorite, so I've said that a lot of times. But I like a lot of YouTubers and I believe in supporting the YouTube community. So... Fleur de Forest was talking about this and it made, I believe it made a monthly favorites video and it made another video of hers and she said she absolutely loved this product. And what it says to do is use like you would a hair conditioner but on your body. Smooth over wet skin after washing, rinse off, then lightly towel yourself dry, towel yourself dry. And it says, Use this using this replaces the need to moisturize after bathing. It leaves, you, it leaves you soft and smelling like rose jam. It says it's an innovative body conditioner full of nourishing butters and topped off with addictive rose jam fragrance. Indulge, indulgence has never smelled so sweet. So I thought I just had to try it since she gave it such a high recommendation. It smells like roses. It if you know what roses smell like, that's exactly what it smells like. So I think it's very pleasing of a scent. So when I went into Lush, I went to just get this one, and I came out with two more things besides that. One. I got the Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. I smelled it in a store, and I thought I was going to have to give it a try, so that's what this looks like. Oh man, if you like lemons, you're going to love the scent of this. Now, I've not used this product before, but I've heard good things about it. And it smells, oh, so amazing. I can't wait to use that. And then I got, I can't remember, I know the name of this, but I can't remember exactly how it's labeled. The name of it is Shimmy Shimmy. And it's in the shape of a heart. And it's more, it, you, you just kind of just rub it on your skin. And it does leave a little bit of a sparkle, but it also, mo it also moisturizes your body. It may be labeled as one of the massage bars. I'm not really sure, but I, it's my second one that I've purchased, and I really like this. So this has been all of my haul, and it's kind of funny. I went in to, literally to get two products in two different stores and came out with all this stuff. So it is what it is, and YouTube made me buy this stuff. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you don't mind, tell me some of the beauty products that you like. I would love to hear your recommendations. Bye-bye, everybody.